Matt, we're going to keep, stay with you one more time. VA 2017-02, Martha Shea. Yes, sir. This is also a rezoning request. Uh, this is property located at 1304 Iola Drive. Consists of 0 0.52 acres. Request is to rezone this from R10 to R6 for the purposes of redeveloping this property from single-family residential to duplex residential. Uh, as you look on the zoning map, this is sort of the edge of a residential R10 zoning district to the north. There's existing RP zoning to the south and to the east. And as you look up by Ola Drive, there's also some R6 zoning there, which is what the applicant is requesting. And so in terms of zoning pattern, there's some merit for R6 for this property, given the surrounding zoning pattern. In terms of land use pattern, um, it doesn't show up too well on the aerial, but in looking at Iola Drive, um, you have existing single-family homes, duplexes, and apartment buildings on Iola. Some of the duplexes are in R6, some of the duplexes are, are in R10 from decades ago. So it is somewhat of a mixed residential pattern already on Iola. Subject property is fairly large, has a uh, single-family residence that's nearly 2,000 square feet. Um, and it is at the southern end of the corridor where it's next to zoning that would already allow duplexes anyway. Um, character area-wise, this is what we call transitional neighborhood as opposed to established residential to the north. So again, further argument in favor of R6 zoning. Property itself, this is the side plan. You see the existing residence. It's sort of wide across the front. You see sort of a, an, a it's actually in addition to the north um, side of the building. Um, the history of this property is for many years ago, a prior resident had a home occupation ceramic studio, um, hence some of the added rooms. The second electrical service was added to that building at that time, for that time period. Um, the applicant is wanting to take this addition and actually convert it to a dwelling unit and reactivate that second electrical service. Subject property looks like this from the street. This is from the southeast looking diagonally in. This is a better shot of the existing house. And you see the two electrical services, or at least the second one that is on the front wall of the building to the right. That is part of the addition that was done years ago. Property already has two driveways already has two mailboxes. Um, and as we talked about the work session, the applicant had already started the conversion process of this to a duplex <coughs> without the necessary permits. Um, citation was issued, start work order was put on place. Um, court date is pending. Um, part of that is to allow the rezoning application to run its course. So whether approved or not approved, um, in terms of zoning change, the permitting process will still need to be satisfied, either in finishing the job and converting this to duplex or in restoring it back to single family. Um, other properties, we have some single, this is the Long Iola Drive, this is a diagonal across the street, we've got a single family residence, a duplex nearby, and then three lots up, we have a four unit apartment building. So it's sort of a mixture along Iola uh, in terms of land use and also zoning. Staff found the request consistent with the comprehensive plan, our standards for exercise of zoning power, and we are recommending approval to you. Commissioners, any questions for staff on this request? There being none, is anyone here tonight wishing to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward at this time. Anyone wishing to speak in favor of this request? State your name and address, please, ma'am, for a record. Any questions for the presenter? Um, does the studio presently have a, uh, a, a kitchen facility in it? It does. 
Any other question? Thank you, ma'am. Anyone else here wishing to speak in favor of this request? Any here, anyone here wishing to speak in opposition of this request, please come forward. Anyone here wishing to speak in opposition? There being none, commissioners, any additional discussion on this request? There being none, I will entertain a motion at this time. Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Willis. I make a motion that we uh, follow our staff's recommendation and recommend approval. We have a motion from <coughs> Commissioner Willis. Do I have a second? I'll second. Got a second, Mr. Commissioner Gladwin. Any discussion on the motion? There being none, all wishing to speak in favor of this request, please signify by raising your right hand. And Ms. Carmel, that's 8-0. Thank you very much. 